New at six people are gathering for the opening ceremony of a special tribute to troops who sacrificed their lives. That ceremony starts in one hour at the Veterans Museum in Balboa Park. 10 News military reporter Hannah Mullins explains why remembering our fallen means so much. You often hear the saying freedom is not free and this exhibit shows us the faces of those who have paid that steep cost. Andre Cherry visited his brother Memorial Day, but he thinks of him every day. It was almost, I was almost, um, The two were inseparable. They served just miles apart in Ramadi. And then that was that last time. Last time I saw him. Lance Corporal Marcus Cherry was killed in action. I was looking forward to being a best man, you know. Marcus never had a chance to be a husband or a dad, like this corpsman. This is uh, John D. House. Holly Schaffner put her PR hat aside as she read this note to him. It says, Dear Daddy, I love you and miss you very much. Every day I wonder. Are you happy in heaven? Do you have any friends in heaven? I love you very much. Love, James. James seemed too young to understand. His dad can't write back. Sometimes the children just don't understand the sacrifices. Major James Ahern was afraid his daughter would forget him. More than 40 San Diegans have died serving since the 9-11 terror attacks. There's not enough time in this story to show them all, let alone the 720 Californians. Ahern's daughter will never forget what she lost, and this traveling tribute is a chance for all of us to remember what they gave. I just know that when he got back home, he wanted to appreciate, um, you know, being in America. Cause being here is such a blessing. It's a country for which they were willing to leave their children. The exhibit runs through next Saturday. It's $5 for adults and free for active duty service members. At the Veterans Museum, Hannah Mullins, 10 News. Those children's letters are heartbreaking. The ceremony at 7 tonight is free and it is open to everyone.